Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and we are back on the Las Vegas Strip, Las Vegas Boulevard. We are going to visit the Harris Hotel and Casino mid-strip here in Las Vegas. We're heading north on the Strip and Harris is set back just a little bit, not as much as other hotels and casinos on the Strip. So let's check this place out. It opened up a couple days ago after being shut down for months. It's post-COVID. Let's go, folks. <laughs> So Harris has the distinction, it's the only hotel and casino that has the distinction of being represented in three different cities on the New York channel. It's uh, in Atlantic City, we have a video there. It's in New Orleans, there's a video there. And there are several videos on Harris here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I arrived in Vegas the first week of June 2020 and uh, much of the strip was pretty much closed down, especially the hotels and casinos. Uh, MGM opened the Bellagio in the uh, New York, New York, and then last minute they opened up the MGM Grand because there was a lot of uh, demand for rooms, believe it or not, the uh, first week that the Strip was reopening. Caesars uh, decided to open up Caesars Palace as well as the Flamingo, which is where I stayed. Check out that video. And uh, because of the demand and because uh, MGM opened up the MGM Grand, uh, Caesars decided to open up Harris, so here we are. Right now we're by the uh, reservation or the check-in area of Harris, and there's a, a small convenience store here for little knickknacks that you might want for your room or things that you might have forgotten. There's easy access to the link, which is right next door, and as should be, they're both Caesars properties. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. So right now we're walking past the Harris Food Court, which is the, uh, I think it's called the Fulton Market. And uh, as you can see, most of it's closed down. I'm going to insert a video right now of what it looked like pre-COVID. Very nice place to hang out and have a meal. Now again, what you're looking at here is archive footage of the Fulton Street uh, Food Hall, or Fulton Street Market as I call it, at Harrah's. And the reason I'm bringing archive footage into this particular video is because I think the Fulton Street uh, Food Hall is a very important part of Harrah's. Unfortunately, it was closed when I visited it after uh, the strip opened just a few days prior to my visiting. Uh, so I wanted to show it because I think it's part of the uh, Harris experience and I didn't want you guys to miss it. I like this place because it's kind of like a buffet and I really don't like buffets, but it's a pay-as-you-go type of a buffet with all kinds of food from all around the world. Uh, very casual. It's, they don't consider it a food court because it's really gourmet chef driven lots of places to uh different types of stations to pick up different kinds of food and i really enjoy it here and from what i understand as of the uploading of this video it is now open and now that i think of it it's funny that i call it the fulton street market and not the fulton street food hall because it kind of reminds me of the fulton street market that used to be at the south street seaport downtown manhattan very similar atmosphere, very similar uh, offerings, and just brings back a lot of memories of good old downtown New York. Harris has this drive aisle. It's kind of like an express aisle through the casino with walls on both sides. From a marketing standpoint, I don't understand it. Why would you close off the casino to people walking through? This white marble is extremely shiny and reflective. Ladies, just a warning, you might want to walk on the carpet. So outside of the uh, Fulton Street Food Hall, there's plenty of other restaurants here at Harris, including Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill. There's a Oyster Bar Las Vegas here, Flavors Buffet. There's a pizza cake, which is kind of like, I guess, brand new here on the Las Vegas Strip. And we saw that walking into the building earlier in the video. And as far as upscale restaurants, there's a Ruth Chris Steakhouse. I love me a good steakhouse, and Ruth Chris is pretty good. 
And as far as shopping, Harrah's has plenty of that as well. Some of the shops include Jackpot, City Life, Destinations, Gift Plus, Essentials, Wine and Spirits, Harrah's Pool Store, uh, there's a Landau store, a jewelry store, a Marshall Rousseau, Toby Keith store, a UPS store for those here on business, as well as a Vegas photo. And as you can see as we walk through the casino, in particular the blackjack tables that we're walking past, there is no plexi. They do limit the chairs to three per table, but without plexi, uh, I feel a little bit uncomfortable here and I would probably take my money someplace else as far as gambling. If you plan on visiting Vegas in the near future, check out the link below in the description. 50 things to do and tips while visiting Las Vegas. If you get a chance, don't forget to view those other videos of Harrah's in different cities around the country. There's one in New Orleans, check that one out. There's one in Atlantic City, check that one out. And uh, I also have a video that's like a smackdown between the Las Vegas Harrah's versus the Atlantic City Harrah's. Guess which one wins? You'll have to see the video to find out. Coming up next on the New York Channel, we are going to visit the Treasure Island, now known simply as the TI, post-COVID. I stayed here about a year ago, uh, and I had a good time here. It's a nice, moderately priced hotel and casino. It's also home to Senior Frogs and Gillies, the country western bar. Um, I did a video on Gillies as well as a room tour here at the TI. Check that video out. And as you can see as I entered off the strip, the only one wearing a face mask was Senior Frog himself. Thanks for watching the New York channel. Please subscribe. All right. Say it again together. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Sorry. And a little louder. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you for watching the New York channel. Please subscribe. Now, some of you may be wondering, hey, Jeff from New York, why aren't Ginger and Marianne wearing face masks like they should? Truth be told, they took that little 3 by 5 inch piece of material and made their outfits out of it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions and most importantly subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.